uh, so this is sort of one where you got to push crates onto target squares like so. And um, oh, great, I read the level, but that's not the point. So this isn't the full story. The game is just a tiny part of it. So if we go out here, we see we actually have a game editor. And um, how do I get rid of this sharing thing? But anyway, uh, so you can edit the graphics of the game. For instance, if let's say I want to give this guy a little uh, black stripe along his shirt, we can just edit the pixels here. And um, you can edit the rules. So if you don't feel like crates should be pushed, you can change that part. It's a bit like Baba is You, if you know that game. Um, and we can make this game, we can make the first level easier by just putting, getting rid of some walls here. So that's, <laughs> uh, there we go. Uh, let's try that. And uh, yeah, that's much easier. And, <laughs> and so uh, you can save and um, load the games on, they persist on the, on the canister, on the IC. And, um, and it, yeah, it's, as it's, uh, for, I've just got some demo games here. You know, I'll, I'll post a link in the chat so you can play for this yourself. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it, but this isn't the full story, actually. So I've, this is a canister that, that uh, edits games. I didn't come up with this language, by the way. It's called Puzzle Script. It's a pretty cool invention. But um, so what I really want to show is this thing. Um, it's given a minute to load. Um, and here we see a sort of, um, you can type in code here. Let me give a, um, probably the most fun demo is this one. And then if you click the Run button, it compiles and runs this code in the browser. And you can, yeah, this one plots this uh, pretty picture over here you know, using just these lines of code. And um, I guess the interesting part for me is that you can click this button down here, download WASM canister and build a canister from the code that you just wrote. So right now I'm gonna build a canister live and I hope it works. So let's, um, let's start with this. We'll have a function that returns, if you give it zero, it returns a, empty, uh, a list containing the empty string. If you give it N, then it prepends the character zero to every element of S N minus one. So you can imagine if you iterate this four times, you're going to end up with a list containing one string and or consisting of four zeros. So let's see if I'm right about that. Um, run. Um, yeah, and there we go. And now if you concatenate the list where you prepend one to every element of fn minus one, well, you're going to end up with um, a binary counter because you're doing you're adding you're adding zero in front of all the possibilities and adding one in front of all the possibilities. So you end up with a binary counter. And now the, now the next question is, what happens if you reverse the second list before you concatenate? Now, I'm not gonna, we're gonna reveal the answer with a canister. So that's, um, there's a magic incantation I have to write here to, to turn this into a canister, because you gotta give it a, a query name. Let's just call it go. Um, that's the function I wanna ex ex export. I'm gonna download the WASM canister. And this canister to WASM can be deployed to the internet. I'm just gonna have to share my terminal for now. Um, it's probably, ah, uh, stupid Zoom, hang on a sec. Yeah. Um, share screen. Oh, geez. Uh, this one, I guess. Okay. Can you see my terminal now? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay. So let's go make a temp directory um, demo. Um, let's copy that canister wasm I just downloaded. Um, and then I'm going to have to copy the instructions from my page. So you got to make a, a DFX JSON file. Otherwise, DFX won't like it. So there it is. And you got to make an empty. Um, Kind of, kind of description file, and now it can be deployed. Except I have to start. Um, I have to start a DFX. I'm not going to deploy on the live man. I don't want to waste cycles on this stupid demo. So there we, um, and once the like one. Oh, okay. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, I'll, I'll just show you. This, this is a full blown compiler. It has other things. It's got arbitrary precision math with uh, uh, myself. I didn't use GMP or anything. So. Um, Oh, yeah, I can't show you because this, this it's not shared on the screen. Um, I also have a rock, paper, scissors engine, a scissors engine, which you can play. It's got a multiplayer, massively multiplayer rock, paper, scissors game you can play. Um, you have to explore yourself, I'm afraid. This is, there's way too much content for four minutes. Um, I've got uh, <laughs> I've got a candid, um, candid decoder with a, that explains every field as it goes, like seaboard.me, and I've got a hex maze solver. And, um, uh, and, yeah, so basically, this thing, I use this canister to build the canister to build a game that you saw at the beginning. So it's a SDK on the IC. Um, you don't need any other tools. You just go to this page, um, run this stuff, and let's just see what the answer is. So DFX canister call, Enigma, go. And then we'll just um, pipe the raw output. Sorry. We'll pipe, we'll pipe the raw output to a hex decoder to see what the answer is. Whoops, I can't type today. Um, dash P. And so the answer is, if you re if you reverse the second list before appending it, then you end up with a, a gray code. 
a uh, Drake code, you, you still get every combination, but the adjacent strings differ by exactly one bit. And that's just a, a pretty cool fact. 